Are you double checking? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Are you fighting? Fighting for customers. Mm. Very sweet, eh? Wow. Oh, it's good, bro. That's the 8 to 1? Oh, okay, 7. Okay, so 8 to 1. Yeah. Take care. Please, brother, do. Thank you. Thanks for supporting. Take care. Look after the Yeti, yeah? Oh, wow. Look how heavy that looks. This guy is a legend. I'm very happy to meet you anyway. I am so super happy. To <laughs> so what do we have here guys? Benelli BM Ducati workshop coming soon. So well it's not it's not coming soon. <laughs> because it how are you sir? I'm fine sir. And you? Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, very good, thank you sir. Hello Baba, how are you? You see that's the first one, Benelli. Yeah, they've got some cool bikes. It's like having a share house, you know, with sharing with BM and Ducati. So they probably share the cost as well, I'm not sure. Ah, he's the manager, Mr. BJ. How are you, brother? Uh, Thanks fine, for looking fine, after yeah. my bike. It's very yeah, nice yeah, of you, no man. No problem. I'll give you the help. Yeah, thank you so much, man. And he's got lots of uh, Benelli. He's got a couple of monsters there. That's what's this one? That's a monster too. Yeah. yeah. Nice. That's a nice one. This one there too. Very uh, flashy, very bright uh, red, as you can see. That's the eight to one. No, that's the seven nine. Okay, seven. Okay, so eight hundred cc. And that's my scrambler. And and uh, BJ looked, looked at it, and yeah, there's a couple of things to do. I need to change the rear brake pad. You said the brake uh, oil needs bleeding. to be changed as well. Yeah. It's bleeding. And unfortunately, I have something a little bit more serious uh, at the front. The fork. Yeah. The fork appears to it be damaged. Yeah, it's got some scratch, and it's it's uh, bleeding as well. Yeah. But this part, we looked on the uh, official Ducati uh, uh, website and it's too, it's too expensive. How much was it? $500? 500 euros. 500 euros. So yeah, no, screw that. Can't afford that right now. So you said to me it only affects the... Damping, yeah. Suspension. The, the damping, yeah. Okay, suspension. So I could, I can't continue like this. Yeah, it is not advisable, but you can continue. It's not advisable, yeah. Can I damage anything else? Oh, no, no. No, okay. So, ride. bro, I'll take it on my bike. That's okay, I'll do more ads. <laughs> maybe when Ducati decides to, you know, sponsor me, <laughs> maybe I can change it, but for now. And yeah, I want them, they're gonna take a look at the air filter because since I fell in a river, yeah, I don't know, there's a bit of a f funny noise. Possibly the mudguard. There's this mudguard that seems to be good quality, but it's, it's uh, tw you said 12,000 Nepali rupee. So it's quite pricey. Uh, it's like 100 euros. I, I was expecting a something a little cheaper, so. I'll check online if I can find a, a part that would be a bit cheaper, otherwise I have no choice but going for it because yeah, I'm sick and tired of getting mud all over the place. Yeah, I'll leave the bike with you, brother. Yeah. Thanks a lot again for having me. I'll come back in a, in a few hours. So guys, I'm now in uh, Nepali. What, what is it, the exact name? Nepali? Nepal Tourism Board. Tourism Board, that yeah. sounds very formal. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Umes. Yeah. Umes is here with uh, his colleague. My name is Dinesh Okay. Ah, uh, sorry, I won't remember that. <laughs> That's okay. okay. Names in Nepal are so hard for me to understand. In India, it was okay, but here it's so hard. Anyway, uh, they gave me like many, many advice. I'm gonna go around uh, Mustang, Annapurna region, maybe lakes if possible. So thanks again, Baba, for your help. Really appreciate it. Okay, Very you. kind people Welcome here at the Nepal office. India. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you for charging your GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I left them my GoPro uh, for charging. You take care and uh, we'll be in touch anyway. Okay. Okay? See you. Bonne chance. Hein? Salut, à plus. See you guys. Bye. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, leaving the place now. It's beautiful. See you. See you, darling. Bye bye. Uh, it's a beautiful uh, building here in Kathmandu downtown. See you, sir. Take care. Huh? My vlog name is Ride with Frenchy. Ride. ride like ride motorbike yeah, yeah. ride with Frenchy. 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 Okay, take okay. care. I will start on YouTube. Please brother do thank you. Thanks okay. for supporting. Okay. Take care. Look after the Yeti, yeah? yeah. You see tourist service center. And uh yeah, very happy. I mean very happy. Cost me quite quite a lot of money. <laughs> But uh, I mean, it's not too bad. So I'll show you quickly. They, they give you uh, they give you that card here, uh, registration card for individual trekkers, and you pretty much you pretty much uh, you see I've got my ugly French mug here. Fill your details. You pay 
5,000 Nepali rupee. Uh, it was pretty much uh, two, two different permits. Uh, one cost me 3,000, the other one cost me 2,000, so 5,000, what is that? Something like $40, I would say. That will allow me to stay in the Mustang region for a long time, which is good. Well, I won't stay too long, but still. I could have also applied for Upper Mustang, but Upper Mustang. Tu pars quoi, pour quoi Je sais pas. Les jours qui viennent Les jours qui viennent, ok. Après, on se verra là-bas. Je peux. Bon courage à toi. Salut, salut, toi. Another French dude I met inside. He was also applying for permits. Uh, it's good. Like I hadn't met a French dude for ages. Anyway, so yeah, the, the, uh, I also wanted to visit Upper Mustang because I heard a lot of good things on Upper Mustang. I'm okay, thank you, brother. Uh, but it's five hundred dollars, guys, for the permit. It's only for ten days, and you have to pay for a guide as well. Mr. Umes at the reception was very uh, uh, honest. He told me five hundred is only for the permit. It's going to cost you at least one thousand. You've got to pay for a guide, and then obviously accommodation and food is not included. So. For 10 days, uh, unfortunately, that's below my budget. Maybe when I come back, maybe when I come back towards Europe, maybe I have more money and I can do it. But for now, unfortunately, I can't, guys. So, okay, that's it for now. Uh, I'll try to go and see the uh, to the Indian Embassy now because I need to apply for my new visa uh, before going to the mountains. So let's go and check out the Indian Embassy. Yeah, see you soon, guys. Remember just before I was telling you that the traffic is actually not that bad even during peak hours? Well, it's true. If you, if you compare to India, well, of course, of course it's busy, but you see, you hear? See, you can't hear much, uh, many people honking. They're not using the, the honks and it's just so much better. I know I have a lot of people, a lot of you guys are from India, watching from India. Something you should learn from Nepal. It's, it's actually funny, you know, at the Nepali tourism board, I met this French guy, as you saw, and he, he, he he's from the French countryside. And he said, I flew from France to Nepal, to Kathmandu, and he's, he's terrorized because for him it's so busy and all. I was like, really? Because for me it's so, so quiet and chill for the for a capital compared to uh, to India. But, uh, something really that's, that's enjoyable here. It's got a beautiful park here, it seems. I'll go and check it out. Let's see. Oh, uh, maybe not a park. There's a lot of army here. Hello, sir. Hello. How are you? What is this, sir? Army camp. It's army camp. Okay, so okay, I thought it was a public park, but it's not a public park. No. Oh, I see. So we, I can't go. Huh? Okay. Thank you, boss. Thank you. Have a nice day. So, guys, I made it to an area called. Uh, apparently, it's called Ma Maboda, from what I understood. Oh, there's heavy road work here. Oh, what do we have here? Just a pagoda in the middle of nowhere. Wow. Interesting. Oh, wow. This seems to be a very uh, crowded place. I'm not sure. Hello, sir. Hello, James. How are you? Mahabauda. 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 Name, name. Ah, Buddha Mandir. Mandir. Buddha Mandir. Hindu Mandir. Hindu Mandir. Hello, ladies. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye, bye bye. So you heard the name, guys, because I already forgot. I'm so bad at names. Anyway, it seems to be a bit of a hectic area of Kathmandu, as you can see. It's uh, very busy, lots of shops, lots of people. Oh, this guy is selling like many watches. Oh yeah, it's, it seems to be the watch, uh, the watch street. Oh, electronic. Yeah, we sell a lot of electronics here, but even fabric, as you can see. Kitchenware. Oh, I love those uh, small streets. Hello, brother. It's lovely. Nice fabric. Very colorful. Oh, good. Um, what is the name of this? Yeah, Pani Puri, that's it. I forgot already. Thank you, bro. There was a lot of them in India, too. It's probably Indian actually, I don't know. I mean, the first time I saw them were in India. Oh wow, look how heavy that looks. This guy is a legend. So, I don't think I'm gonna find the Indian embassy around here. <laughs> I definitely should have hopped on a bike to go to the Indian embassy, but 
didn't realize how far it was i think i have a good 20 25 minutes walking but that's okay i'm here to discover the city as well so let's not be lazy yeah, heaps of uh, a lot of potatoes oh that's lovely that's a very nice building oh and this one too oh that's fantastic very nice man dear that's definitely a hindu mandir if it's not honestly i'm gonna chop off my left ball uh, and this looks very much also like a like a hindu uh, place let me ask namaskar sir this is a hindu mandir hindu and buddhist both so you oh, can go both yeah. okay you beautiful it's very nice yeah. and what about this one here Hindu temple, eh? Okay, that's good. I can keep my ball. When it started to say Buddhist, I started to be like, oops. The concentration of shops around here is crazy because it's all very small shops as well. One shop, two shops, three shops. Look at the size of that. It's insane. It's like a, a three meters on one or something. And literally three square meters. This one is a bit bigger. We have so many shops within a small area. You've got crazy bikers as well. You've got to be very careful around here. Oh, I like the building, a very nice building, old school, old style. And I love how they display the, the dresses as well. Oh, it looks like we are arriving on another nice, oh wow, it's very nice too. Look at that. Oh, it's another, another mandir here. Mm, it's nice. Namaskar. And what is that? Namaskar, bhai. Decoration. Decoration. Yeah, they're decorating it, yeah. Nice. Okay, bro. Thank you. Have a nice day. He's selling lassi here. Hi, my friend. Come here. <laughs> How are you, bro? Yeah, I'm fine, sir. That's good. How much is it for a small one? Small one is 45, sir. 45. Hello. 45. Okay. Hello. That looks good. Sati. Fresh yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Fighting, fighting for customers. <laughs> it's okay. No fight, no problem. <laughs> mm. Very sweet, eh? Wow. Wow, oh, it's good, bro. Great job. Oh, it's excellent. Wow. I love that they put uh, like dry fruit and nuts on top. Dry fruit, eh? yeah. yeah, and nuts. It's very good, brother. They're very good, guys. Excellent. Oh, look at that. He's like streaming uh, using a gimbal. <laughs> That's cool. Chinese. The Chinese, they love to stream with their uh, mobile phone. Oh, yeah, I've got to hurry, guys, because the embassy is probably going to shut. Cool. So, and you say, what you say, sorry, can you repeat the name of it? Tolezu. Tolezu. Oh, Tolezu. Tolezu. Okay. Oh, okay. Beautiful. So, the, the two ladies were just telling me that the temple is only open one day a year. <laughs> Are you double checking? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Even if you. Nah, even if you get it wrong, it's okay, no, no problem. Um, and they, they were telling me it's a yeah, Nepali style, kind of, it's not... Oh, it's Nepal, Newar, Newar, typical Newar. Newar. Uh, People from Kathmandu, it's from Nepal, Newar. But, it, but it's, it's still a Hindu temple, right? Yes, it's a Hindu temple, it's a okay. Nepali temple. Hindu Nepal. temple, Nepali style? Yes. Oh, okay. You can still visit the museum, there is a museum. There is a museum, okay, yes. beautiful. But the museum is not only open one day per year. No, <laughs> every day open. Okay, of course. But you can't enter this temple, but you can enter the beside. Oh, so you can temple. still go in the facility and go around. Oh, okay, beautiful. You can enter the another temples. Yeah. Oh, okay. Been. Yeah, it looks it looks very very nice. I'm loving it. It's so, a palace there. This there's is a palace. palace behind. Yes. Oh, that's exciting. You can all the palace. Oh, okay. This whole square is a palace. And okay. This is the temple. And there's, there's oh, so the whole square, the whole place we are in, palace, is like palace, a palace, palace area. Okay. And the main part is the okay. I, I just met those two lovely ladies from Nepal. They said they, to me, they 
um, the studying here in Kathmandu, but you are from like countryside Nepal. Where exactly? Okay, cool. Is it a nice place to visit? Yes, very awesome. Lovely. Central, 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 Central. Is, so my geography is very bad. Is it in the mountains? No, it's in the north. Oh, you said south. Okay. Okay, beautiful. Well, thanks a lot for all the information. Really appreciate it. Pleasure, okay. pleasure meeting you, ladies, and all the best for your studies. Yes, okay. Thank you. You too. And um, if you ever watch YouTube, the channel is called Ride with Friendship. Ride with French. Friendship, because I'm Friendship. from France, and that's how we call French people Friendship. Okay, so ride with Frenchie and uh, you will see your pretty face in the, in the video. <laughs> see you ladies, thank you. Eh? Bye, bye bye. Bye bye. So uh, yeah, loads, again, loads of uh, like textile shop around the place. And yeah, this temple I was, I was telling the girls, it, it's, it's the biggest Hindu temple I've seen in my life. But that's actually quite big, I'm very impressed. And as the ladies were uh, telling me, the whole the whole area is like the palace area so i'll go i'll go around i'll take a walk around and see what we've got oh yeah it's, it's very nice got another smaller one with a golden golden looking uh uh roof no i don't play i don't play chess bro i i, I don't play the chess brother thank you uh, I would make an absolute fool of myself. Okay. Entrance fee. Eh? How are you saying Namaskar? It's an entrance fee for the palace. Yeah. For the square. Okay. Darbar square. So this is Darbar square. Hanuman Doka Durbar square. Square, yeah. Okay. Oh, and it's 1,000 to yeah. get in. Yeah, Nepali 1,000. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes. Yeah, not $1,000. <laughs> $1,000, no. Dollars Nepali, Nepali. Nepali. Okay. Ten dollar. Ten dollar, yeah, ten dollar. Yeah. And okay, wow. This area is also listed in World Heritage Site. Take it. Okay. And the major attractions to see here is the living goddess Kumari. Maybe you heard about. Okay. Very small child selected as a goddess. I haven't. I haven't. I, I haven't looked up anything, bro. <laughs> Sorry. But okay, maybe another time. Yes. Maybe another time. Okay, thank you guys. Have a nice day. Bye bye. So leaving, leaving the palace area behind me. Unfortunately, I, I didn't account for that. So probably uh, come back another time, another day. It looked amazing, honestly. You know what I was thinking actually? Even flying the drone there, that would be amazing. I think that would give me great shots. Um, allegedly, I don't need a permit to fly the drone because it's under the the regulation, the weight, it's under 250 grams. So supposedly, I don't need a permit for it. However, I'm going to go and double check because I don't want to end up in trouble if I fly a drone, you know, downtown, especially downtown, without the uh, appropriate permit. Anyway, so let's get going, guys. Uh, hopefully, we'll make it to the Indian Embassy before sunset. Look at that beautiful door, guys. Inside, it looks very, very nice. And it, it's funny, you know, they always put, uh, I realize, they always put like some kind of scary, uh, I don't even know what kind of animal it is. Like a, like a dog slash lion with a wig on. And the funny thing is, yeah, it's like um, two scary creatures to guard the, the temple. Hello, sir. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Now. That's beautiful, man. What's your name? My name is Don. Zon. My name is Rohan Lama. Nice to meet you, brother. Thank you. Are you from here, Kathmandu? Yes. Yeah, bro. Okay. Have a nice day. Take care. Aja, Aja Kodin, Rahosh, Shub. Shub Rahosh. Take <laughs> Clearly did not understand me. Um, yeah, it's funny, like those two kind of monsters guarding the temple. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, maybe it's... But that's the impression it gives. No, 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 it's a good story. I with you as well. You, you can even look excited, that's all right, no problem. What's your name? Oh, Amrita. Amrita? Yes. Uh, yeah, guys, I just met Amrita. She just crossed the street, she recognized me and she gave but me a big hug. Seriously, I was watching your video loop and I thought, one day I will meet you. I'm staying in Kathmandu and I'm going back to India. It? 
and I take students to them. So you are originally from India? Yes. Oh, that's awesome. From Delhi. Oh, from Delhi. Oh, what's the name of Delhi? That's awesome. Uh, and she's trying to ask me, where is Saliha? That's so cool. Where is Saliha? Uh, yes, I would, I yeah, would well, love to meet her. Yeah, she's, she's back to Turkey. She oh. had yeah she had to fly back to Turkey. Even I she her out too. You did. Oh, she that's cool. Here in the step cut mine. Oh, was she? Okay. Step cut mine. She was staying ah, here okay. and she was in Nepal. Ah. And uh, I texted her, "Can we meet?" Okay. So, ah, she, uh, she didn't. Plan. Yeah, she didn't see. Because that's my house. I was staying here. That's where you live. Okay. Yes, we are both. So you're originally from Delhi, but you moved to Nepal. I came here for uh, work. For work. Okay. Design. That's awesome. And what wow, is so cool she was so excited yeah, to I'm see so me I'm very happy I'm very happy to meet and you And you are so courageous and thank you for thank you showing so much. us beautiful uh, place of My India. pleasure and I'm going back you know I'm yeah. going back Again India Of course I just came here for a month uh, I was actually going to the Indian embassy <laughs> now but I realized it's too late um, I'll go tomorrow apply for a new 6 months visa if I can and I'll go to the seven sisters Okay and then south Okay so, Oh my god Please stop this video. I no problem at all. No problem at all. So, yeah, that's always good. I'm very happy to meet you. Anyway. I am so super happy. To <laughs> Hello, bro. Hello, boss. Okay. So, with my new driver, Shobit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> good morning, brother. Good morning. Uh, so, as you know, guys, I've got now heading to the Indian Embassy, hoping for a six month. A uh, visa that would be ideal, that would allow me to visit everywhere I want to go. What? Excuse me, bro. You're here since six months. No, no, no. I uh, I'm here for one month. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I want to go to uh, back to India for six months. Oh. Yeah. That's why we're going to the embassy. Oh. And I've got all the paperwork I need. Yeah. Let's go, guys. Helping for the best. Okay. So this is it, guys. My driver just dropped me. That's the uh, Indian Embassy, it's the Embassy of India, Kathmandu, there. And here it says Indian Visa Service Center. Yeah, open till noon, that must be the one. So let's go in and check it out. So I just, just dropped my application, I spoke with the lovely lady. But thanks to those guys, so you see there is an urgent visa photo, that was for me. Uh, there is a visa service in here. And this, this gentleman here, what's your name brother? Anil. Anil, Anil the legend. He helped me a lot because yeah, you know, you know me guys, the organization is not my strength. I came with the wrong application, wrong country, wrong everything. And he just sorted it out, he, he took a picture of me. U ugly face, but still works. Same thing, but different. Exactly. Uh, so thanks a lot for your help, bro. Not so how, how much did you, did you want for the, all the copies and all? Photo to 50. Three fifty for the company Oh, okay, three thirty. Let's do it. Two thousand five hundred eighty rupees. Yeah, it's the price of the Indian visa, yeah. right? So it's like hundred dollars, yeah, roughly. Okay, beautiful. For this and for American, it should be nineteen thousand eight hundred. For who? 19, for U.S. Americans? Yeah. Because they have more money. No, for sorry. them, there's no visa. <laughs> okay, see you. Have see you. Money. Thanks a lot, Anil. Okay. Appreciate your help, brother. Eh? Take care. See you after one week. Well, yeah, I'll see you again, bro. Yeah, because I'll have to go back and drop my uh, passport for them to give me the visa. So they'll give me a call. I dropped everything. They give me. A, they will give me a call. I ask very politely for six months because normally they only give three months, guys. They told me. I don't think you're gonna get six months, but you can ask. I said to them, I travel with motorbike. I'm very slow. I like to take my time. So she started to laugh a little bit. She, maybe uh, she she wrote it on my application, like travel with motorbike. So might help. Let's see, they'll call me short interview, then they make, they'll, they'll make a decision. So, process was good, smooth. You see, the, as a French citizen, I, can, I could apply for e-visa. It's cheap, fast, but because I travel by bike, unfortunately, the e-visa is not valid for land borders. So that's why I've got to, yeah, that's why I've got to go for the old school paper visa, the one they stick on your passport. That's okay, all good. So now let's, let's you know, fingers crossed and let's hope for the best, guys. Now I've got to go to Nepali Embassy to extend my Nepali visa. It's visa day today. Fancy scooter to take me to the Nepali immigration. Okay. Let's go. Chalo, chalo. Mr. Saman, thank you, brother. Take care. 
Yeah, this policeman just came. I was waiting for the for the driver, and he just came and started to chat with me. Lovely dude. Okay, guys, leaving immigration now with my Nepali visa extension. Look at that! They look huge uh, banana trees. Now they look like banana trees. Anyway, um, so yeah, that cost me a lot of money, guys. Nepali visa turned out to be one of the most expensive visa ever, because you know because of the little mishap I had on my way in. I, I paid like 80 something dollars just for 15 days and now to renew it I paid 90 dollars for an extra 30 days not even sure I'm gonna go all the way not, not, not gonna show sure I'm gonna use up the, the entire visa but you know I just want to be on the safe side yeah and then the Indian visa will be also some somewhere around 100 dollars I better oh my god I can't even walk straight can I I um now let's let's make the best uh, let's get the best out of this visa guys and let's start to explore nepal asap i'm keen i'm i'm ready to go i'm gonna go and pick up the bike actually now from the uh, Ducati workshop where i left it yesterday and then chalo chalo let's explore nepal guys i'm very very keen for it okay guys so just just back at the workshop with my new local friends what's your name again bro Kumargo. Yes, nice to meet you. Pleasure, man, pleasure. And BJ is here. Uh, we uh, initially I wanted to go for this mud gown, so that that's how it looked pretty much. I was about to buy it, but then uh, BJ told me that I can't get the number plate on it. Unfortunately, they would have to drill the number plate and to drill again the mud gown and potentially damage it. So yeah, and plus it was quite expensive actually. It was uh, something around 12,000 12, rupees, so hundred dollars, which is not cheap so we'll try to find another one but for now i will go to the mountains with that to change the the rear brake pads i've got a brand new uh brake pad so that's cool and they also did a great job on the on the chain as you can see it's nice and shiny yeah and you see they, they applied uh, like a grease on the side of it which is do you have the grease bro you were showing me before it's very good stuff guys it's something that will pretty much maintain the the chain uh, and that's it, yeah, that's lithium, lithium grease. I remember at Ducati in uh, India, in Delhi, they were applying the same grease too, so... Um, yeah, great job. They washed the bike as well, so thanks a lot, guys. Really appreciate it, great job. So, I'm very happy for me now. It's a bit too late for me to leave today, so tomorrow morning, guys, we're going. Let's do it, Nepal. <laughs> 